Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Let's continue talking about implementation of uh, yet another um, uh, logical operation in electronics. In this case, operation is exclusive OR or XOR. Now, it's sometimes called uh, addition by modular 2 uh, because the rules are like this. Now, this is operation of XOR. So, 0 and 0 gives you 0 and 0 and 1 or 1 or 0 gives you uh, 1 and 1 plus x or 1 um, it's again it's equivalent to addition by modulo 2 because 1 and 1 is 2 by modulo 2 is 0 so that's what operation of x or actually means and here is implementation again it's a very primitive implementation but nevertheless it brings you to idea of this implementation so um, how it's work? How it's working? Um, so A and B are input voltages. C is output voltage. And I would like to prove that these are implemented in this schema. These are diodes. Uh, where the triangle is, it's an anode, and where the straight line is a cathode. Let's again use the vacuum tube um, analogy or implementation of diodes. So the cathode is hot, and the um, electrons are flowing from cathode to anode if anode is positive, because it will attract the electrons which are in the thermionic cloud um, caused by the heat of the cathode. Cathode is a heated, so it's a source of electrons in the cloud, and if anode is positive, there is a flow. So what happens is, follow, is as follows. Well, first, let's just think about initial case when 0 and 0 are related. Okay, if everything is at potential 0, there is no difference in potential anywhere. So, there is no movement of electrons, and obviously this also will be at 0 potential. Um, if it's not, then electrons will probably go this way or this way and it will, it will neutralize eventually whatever happens it will be at zero <coughs> okay fine now let's consider one of these cases let's say a is positive now what happens then is as follows this is heated cathode this is the positive so the electrons will flow, will flow this way to the positive. OK. What happens next? Well, next there is a deficiency of electrons here, because electrons are moving this way. Now, can it be compensated? Well, think about it this way. If there is a deficiency here, now these are connected with a resistor. So from this point, electrons will start moving this way. Now, where this point takes its electrons? Well, this is 0, right? This is 1, this is 0. This is plus, this is ground. So the ground is the source of electrons. So in this particular case, as soon as a couple of electrons are moving this way, to compensate the deficiency here. The electrons, which are in a cloud here, will start moving towards this end to compensate the deficiency. So basically, and where is these electrons are coming from? From the ground. So basically, this is the direction. So the whole thing will be from here to here to here to here and to here from ground to plus, electrons will move. Okay? Now, if it's vice versa, if uh, A is deficiency of electrons, which is positive, and, and B, uh, or, or the other way, other way around, uh, uh, A is zero and B is, so whatever one of these cases, they're completely symmetrical, so I don't even want even to stop about, to talk about this. Um, and now the last one, that's important what happens. So both of them are positive. 
Now, if both of them are positive, then the electrons from here um, will, um, will will there is no source of electrons. That's what my point is. If there is no source of new electrons, nothing is maintained on the ground. There is no source of electrons. So there are no new electrons to move from one place to another to compensate this positive or compensate that positive because there is no there is no electrons. Deficiency here, deficiency there. In the previous cases, when the B was at ground level, the ground level means we have an unlimited source of electrons. But in, in case both of them are positive, there is a deficiency here and here. Electrons will not move basically anywhere. So there is maybe some very, very minimal movement of electrons here, but as soon as they are moving here, there is nothing to compensate it. So they will just stop moving, basically. Okay. So from here, there is no movement because there is no new electrons coming from here. So electrons will not move and everything stays where it is at zero potential here. Basically, that's the idea. Now, the real implementation is definitely more complex because it all depends on this resistor and uh, uh, the parameters of resistor, parameters of diodes, etc. But it's an interesting engineering concept, electronic engineering concept, how to implement this purely mathematical logic in electronic schema. Okay, that's it. I do suggest you to read the notes for this lecture. It's all presented as part of the Physics for Teams course on unizor.com. And the comments are maybe a little bit more explanatory when I was writing them um, than what I was just trying to present uh, verbally. And the picture is definitely nicer. So I do recommend you to go to this website uh, for uh, additional explanation. Um, and basically that's it. Thank you very much and good luck.